I quit my job in the city after getting a call in a dream by none other than God. That's right, Steve Irwin, and he told me, Busy, you need to get out of this concrete jungle and let that beautiful mullet flow free in the wind. Get back into nature. I opened my eyes and jumped out of bed with more power than a killer whale slapping a monkey in the face to get the sweet nectar that leaks from its left flipper. Good Lord, Lawrence, why are you slapping a monkey? I ran around the corner and started recording a farming sim YouTube video. Because what's more natural than ones and zeros that look like sheep? Welcome to Sheep Empire RP. Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we are going to try something different. We have been obsessed with Farming Simulator 2022 for a few weeks now, actually. Um, I've owned it for about three weeks. I've got about 250 hours in it, so I'm still quite new at the game. But we're going to try to do a little bit of an RP kind of thing, so... I'll give the basis of the storyline. What's happened was um, I needed a new start. So I sold everything I had and I purchased an old sheep farm. It's got most of the buildings that we'll need to uh, become successful in this industry, but that's it. There's no crops, there's no plots, there's none of that. So it's just buildings and yeah. But yeah, so we just stopped at the local diner. We're going to grab some breakfast and then we're going to go see the new property. So yeah, we'll have a chat with a couple of people in there and see if there's anything we can do for work. Because currently we're not making any money. Uh, luckily, there are some supplies there that will be making us money, uh, such as um, windmills and solar panels and things like that. But yeah, we'll uh, quickly jump in the diner, okay, have a chat with a few people, have some breakfast, and then we're going to go near to try find the fuel station. Now, this is a new town. I've never been here before. So still trying to learn where everything is. So I will be looking at the old map from time to time. But yeah, let's go get some breakfast and go from there. All right, so I just had some quick breakfast in there. I got some lapjacks or pancakes with some uh, coffee. Um, but I was told about someone named um, Adam. Uh, he's got the farm that's right behind the one that I've just purchased, uh, so I was told not to go to his house until roughly around about, you know, 8, 8.30, um, you know, just a light thing, I guess. So, uh, we'll go to the farm, have a look at the setup and everything like that. I only got to take a look at this online, um, but yeah, we'll go there, we'll have a look, and yeah, hopefully by that time we can go see Adam, see if he can give us any work. Uh, but I'll catch you guys at the farm. So on my way to the farm, I've uh, run out of fuel. So I've called the roadside assist. So it looks like they're uh, pulling up now. So hopefully they can uh, fill me up a little bit and we should be good to go. Um, but I'll go have a chat with him and we'll go from there. Sam was a really nice guy. He uh, managed to get me halfway. Um, I'm just gonna, he asked me to send in the money when I get back home. He's uh, giving me his bank details. So, uh, yeah, he gave me about 30 litres. It's going to cost me about $45. Um, plus his time to come out. So, yeah, he said it'd be 60 bucks today. Um, thank God, it's only $60. As you can see, we've only got $82 to our name. Uh, if it was any more than that, I'd be uh, pretty screwed. But, yeah, we'll head to the farm and I'll see when we get there. All right, I just paid $65 to Sam over there. Um, he's got my contact details. If there's any issues, he'll give me a call. But yeah, this is our house. Uh, we got a few little sheds here. We've got the backyard. Nothing too special. Um, looks like they just kind of threw Houston's dog bed there. Um, he'll be, he'll be around here somewhere. Got a little shed back here. But we'll go up to the back and we'll take a look at the new setup for the sheep. So let's go. Here's a new setup for the sheep. There's uh, six sheep barns already, so we're looking good. Once we can afford to actually get some sheep in, we'll be uh, right as rain. As you can see, the grass is a bit overgrown. There's a few trees here that we could possibly get rid of. Uh, we've got our little shop here. I don't think anything was left in here. Oh, it looks like they've left a little workstation. That could be helpful towards us. Like, uh, I'm not going to complain about that. Um, over here we've got a couple of bales, uh, hay barns, um, and then yeah, just like another barn for storing big tractors and stuff like that. 
But I'm going to go back to the house. I'm going to get settled in. And yeah, we'll go see Adam at around about 8.30. I'll uh, bring you guys in then. It's 8 past 8. We better go see Adam to see if he is able to give us any work. I'm pretty happy to do anything. Like, haven't farmed before. I grew up in a city, so really didn't do anything with those. But um, if he's got anything for us to do, I'll be more than happy to take the jobs on. So we'll go down and see Adam and hopefully he can give us some sort of work. Just pulling up to Adam's house. It's a bit early, so we might just uh, pull in here and jump on Facebook Marketplace to see if we can find any sort of equipment for cheap. All right, Adam, you've got my contact details. If you figure out any jobs you need me to do, just say, uh, yeah, give me a call, mate. Thank you very much. Have a great one. I spoke with Adam there. He is happy to give us some work. Uh, he's got nothing right now. He's already employed someone to do the potato field that he's got growing. Um, but yeah, he said once he f gets some work for us, he's more than happy to give us a shot and see how we go. Um, now, I did notice he's got a mower at the front there with the, with the tractor. So I did ask him, like, what are we looking if he's uh, interested in selling that? He said that was... Um, his son's tractor, his son's now moved, um, so he's happy to get rid of it. Uh, he told me that I could take the lot for about, uh, I think he said seven grand. I'll have to double check with him, I can't really remember. Um, but yeah, we're going to head back to the farm. He's literally right around the corner from us, so it makes it a lot easier. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, take a look around here, see if we can find anything we can do in the meantime. Uh, but yeah, so we do have a few solar panels and a windmill and everything like that, which is making us money, thank God. Uh, these came with a property. But yeah, we'll um, probably just spend the rest of the day relaxing and trying to see if there's anything around the farm that we can do for today. Uh, we've only got $17 to our name, so it's not a great start, but uh, Adam said he might give us a call, hopefully in the next couple of days. Houston, there's some food. Um, just got a call from Adam. He's asked if I can go out and do some harvesting for him for the canola. Uh, he said he would have called me earlier, but he got a bit uh, hung up with a few things. So we're going to go over to Adam's house and get that canola sorted for him. So we'll uh, head over there and hopefully we can make some money off that one. So we can start saving up for that tractor and the mower that Adam said he would sell us. Now, he did confirm it was... Um, 8,500 for the lot um, and I said that's no no issues whatsoever um, so yeah we'll get onto it and have a chat with Adam and see see what we can get done all right Adam I'll uh, get onto that right now thank you very much so I just had a chat with Adam he uh, wants me to get this canola field harvested and ready for selling he's um, taking a look at the moment to see what the prices are for selling and then yeah if he's happy with those prices he'll um, get me to go sell him. If not, he will uh, get him in the silo he's got out the back. But yeah, let's get into it. Let's get going and start the harvest for uh, Adam here. Hopefully we can do a good enough job and be quick enough that he would like to hire us again. All right, we're going to start this harvest up now and yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so while we're doing this harvest, I thought I'll take some time and have a little bit of a chat and try to explain what I'm trying to do here. I do want to do as much of an oh Mr. Spot there. I do want to do as much of RP as possible with this. So like there'll be a lot of first person driving and everything like that. Um I'm hoping to be able to bring some people into this one to get a little bit more realism, I guess you'd say. Um now this is the first time I am doing one of these videos, so you will have to bear with me because it's a bit different for me. I'm usually playing other games, but I've, yeah, just fallen in love with this game and I don't want to stop playing it. Um, I'm still quite new, so any tips and tricks or even like little hints that anyone could give me would be appreciated. But yeah, we're going to try to do as best as we can with the RP aspect of this game. So yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy it. And yeah, we are going to be primarily trying to do a sheep farm with this one because I haven't really dealt with sheep before and I thought it would be an interesting way of farming um if there are any other ideas that you want me to add into this series uh just let me know and i'll put them in you know this isn't going to be a massive series it's just going to be 
um, me having a bit of fun and learning along as I go and trying to expand the business. But yeah, we'll uh, get this one finished up and yeah, we'll see how much Adam pays us. Something I did forget to mention before too, we're not really worried about the whole month by month thing. We're just going off by like pretending that it's just days. Um, it's going to make it a bit weird considering that it doesn't take a crop three days to grow, but I just, I didn't want to deal with the month by month. So like your seasonal growing, all that switched off um, and everything like that. I think we've still got, actually let's have a quick look. So in the settings, we've got crop destruction off, periodic plowing off. We've got fieldstone lime and weeds on. Dirt's going to be high, AI work and all that's off, and fuel consumption is also set to high. But yeah, so that's kind of like the settings that we've got at the moment. Um, I'm hoping sometime during this uh, series that I will get the steering wheel so I can give that a crack as well. I reckon that'll be a lot of fun, to be 100% honest with you. But yeah, let's get back to finishing up this crop. Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the fucking hours It takes to get some power What our first full hopper Adam said that the keys are in the truck, so I just gotta go grab it, pull it around, and I should be able to fill that one up. Now, I did forget to mention about the whole pricing and everything like that. Adam and I were talking, now he said because I am using his equipment, he doesn't want to pay me like a full amount, so he's going to go off a wage basis. Um, not a wage basis, sorry, a, a percentage basis. So I'm going to be making about... 30% I think it was of everything that he makes off a field um, if I'm doing harvesting and selling for him um, and then if I'm doing any other sorts of activities like you know cultivating plowing seeding anything like that he'll uh, think of a wage for me but yeah so let's go get this this seed and hopefully we can make some money off this I'm really actually excited about this but this visor is disgusting I gotta say that is a gorgeous truck. Adam's got style. Oh, whoops! I forgot to remove the cover. Which button was the cover? There it is. Let's fill this one up. Now I am gonna say I'm gonna get rid of those solar panels because the money that's coming into the account is kind of ridiculous. So we'll get rid of that. We're going to keep the windmill though, just because I think it looks nice. But yeah, no, we're definitely going to get rid of the um, solar panels. Alright, we're getting up to the last pass now. And then I uh, will go empty this and see if Adam wants us to go off and sell it or if he wants to store it. And see what he, uh, yeah, see what he wants to do with it. So I just spoke with Adam, he asked if I could quickly wash the harvester and the implement, so I'm just quickly doing that for him, and he wants me to go sell it. Um, he said once I've finished washing everything up to go inside and he'll uh, show me how to get there on the map, because I am new to this town. So I guess we'll go sell that off and see how much we get for it. Yeah. It's in clean. Let's uh, park everything up here and go have a chat with Adam. So Adam's uh, showing me where to go for this one. He's even giving me this uh, nifty little navigator. Really nice guy. I just met him and he's already given me uh, a lot of assistance and letting me use his equipment and everything like that. I'm just glad and I hope I don't um, do anything to break his trust. I did speak to him about this visor. He um, said after I do this that I can take it down to the shop and get it removed. Because he's also been quite annoyed with it too, but he just hasn't had the time to do it. Alright, we'll go off and now uh, get this canola sold. And then yeah, we'll come back in then.
So we made a cheeky $25,218 off that load. Um, so yeah, if it's uh, if I was right about 30%, I'll have to double check with Adam. But we'll be making around about seven and a half grand for that. So that's uh, pretty good. I'm happy with that. So we'll just head back down to Adam's farm and drop the trailer off to get this truck fixed up. And then we'll have a chat with Adam and let him know how much we got. I've got all the dockets here on the seat next to me. So he should be happy with that. All right, so you will see me flick between... Um, like my bank account balances and everything like that because I'm swapping from like Adam's farm to my farm to Sam's roadside assistance and everything like that. Uh, so if you do see that, don't think of anything of it. My balance will always be the lowest one. Um, but yeah, I am not too sure on how to do certain things in the game that other people do. So just trying to make the most of it. But yeah, let's get to Adam's farm and get this visor off because this is very difficult there we go adam i'm um, just letting you know that we made twenty five thousand two hundred and eighteen dollars off that load here is the paperwork yep all right so i'll go get that visor removed now um and i'll be back shortly thank you very much all right adam said that he will uh, go through the paperwork and um when i get back we'll uh talk about payment so let's go get the rid of this visor so that's you know, go there to, okay all right i know how to get there now yeah we'll get rid of that That'll be good. Adam just said to um, make sure to go on his tab for that one. So that should be good. Yeah, we'll uh, come back after this visor is gone. All right, so that was all done for me. They've um, removed the visor. It looks a lot nicer now. They've also given it a quick clean and a quick repair. So that's a positive. But let's get this back down to Adam and um, hopefully we can get some money. I also removed all the um, solar panels and the windmill because yeah, they were really causing issues with the income that I was getting for them. Um, we'll get that windmill back once we can actually afford to buy it. Having it for free there and making that kind of income was a bit ridiculous in my opinion. So yeah, that's been removed now. But let's get this back to Adam and uh, get our pay. Thank you so much, Adam. You have yourself a nice one. I look forward to hearing from you later on. Catch you, bud. All right. So Adam just gave us nine grand because we did some extra work. He said that if we are interested tomorrow, um, we can do the cultivating for the field we just done. So hopefully we can uh, get up bright and early and get that one done. But let's... Uh, Head back to the farm. Let's get inside and have some rest and relaxations. How's it going, Sam? You got some work for me. All right. Um, now? Okie dokie. Uh, 109. All right. Keys in the truck. Perfect. All right, mate. I'm on it. I'll go get that done for you. Thank you very much. All right. See ya. All right. So uh, just got a phone call from Sam. We have a broken down tractor uh, plot well, near plot 109. Um, Sam's a little bit preoccupied, so he's asked if we can go get it for him. So uh, let's go down to his shop, pick up the truck. The keys are in there, so we'll go get that done. Let's, let's go do this. Such a nice guy. Appreciate him calling me up. He uh, knows that I'm new and need the money. As you can see, we're down a little bit of money today. We got uh, some property taxes that came through. But that's all right. There's no issues with that whatsoever. Sam's shop here. So we'll uh, go grab this truck. Sam's shop. Let's uh, grab this truck and go pick up this tractor. Sam said the tractor is in limp mode. So we should be able to crawl it up here. Which is good because we don't actually have a winch on this one. Oops, sorry, sir. Let's go get this tractor for Sam. Make some extra money. Just gonna pull up my little navigator that Adam gave me. I believe it's just around here. Pretty sure I'm gonna take the next left. There's a lot of people out at 3.30 in the morning. Alright sir, so I'm with uh, Sam's roadside assistance. I'm just here to pick up your tractor. I um, just want to grab the keys if that's okay. Thank you very much. All right, we'll uh, get it back to you as soon as possible. Um, Sam will give you a call once you figure out what's going on with it. Thank you very much. We got the keys for the tractor.
fuel as well. Let's get this thing up here. Wow, that guy did not even look. Ran a stop sign and everything. Going up to Sam's shop now, he just told me to leave it by one of the sheds here. So I'm assuming he'd want me to drop it off about here. It's all dropped off there. Sam should be happy with that. Hopefully I can make a bit of money off that one. Let's get back home and get some more rest because we've got a big day tomorrow. Gotta to do some cultivating. Back home, I am absolutely exhausted. So we're just gonna go straight to sleep. And then go do some cultivating tomorrow morning. Ah, oh, good night. Still pitch black outside, so hopefully he's, um, Tractors have some good lights. But we'll head over to Adams and get to work. So we're almost there at 7.30, so we should have a bit of time. Didn't even have a chance to have my morning coffee. But it's my own fault. I stayed awake a little bit too late. Um, because Sam called me, but that's okay. Sam said he'll be calling me today at around about 12 o'clock-ish to um, discuss how much I make off the recovery I had to do last night. Hopefully it's a decent amount. Still quite early, so I might just sit here on Facebook for a little bit. Yeah, start working at 7.30. All right. How are we going, Adam? I'm here to do the cultivating. All right, thank you for the keys. All right, I'll get on it. Thanks. All right, Adam's just giving me the keys, so we'll go do this cultivating and get that one sorted for him. I don't know if he'd want me to do the planting, but I'm more than happy to do the cultivating. I'm glad he's got really good gear. That's all I can say. Well, we'll start getting this cultivating going and um, chat to you guys in a bit. All right, just finishing up the last pass here and then we'll go speak to Adam to see if he wants us to do any seeding or if we're done for the day. And there it is. Perfect. Alrighty. Let's get this uh, packed up, cleaned up, and put away. I figured he'd want me to clean it because he did want me to clean the harvest the last time we used it, and this machinery is still all new stuff. As he was saying to me the other day, he um, got a completely new fleet, so I'm sure he'd want to keep it all like spick and spam. But yeah, let's get this cleaned up. Oh, spotless. Let's get it all put away for him. Be a bit more difficult with the limited room. Glove. All right, let's go speak to Adam. Adam, that is all done for you there, mate. Um, did you want me to go do any seeding or anything like that, or are you done for the day? Yep. So soybeans? All right, I'll get on it now, mate. Thank you. 
All right, Adam's uh, requested us to plant it up in soybeans, so let's get that done for him. Make sure you turn those beacons on and off, boys. Always remember. All right, so Adam wanted soybeans, so let's get this all planted up for him. And then once we get all that done, we'll see if there's any other jobs he wants from us. Let's get this done for him. All right, finishing up the last part, and I just got to get a little piece that I missed behind me. And then we'll go speak with Adam and see if he's... Uh, Got anything else for us, or if we're done for the day? But I'm gonna quickly clean this up and bring that back to the shed and put it away. This last thing I want to do is um, put dirty machinery away. Let's get this thing spick and spam. All right, let's go have a chat with Adam and see what else he would like us to do for the day. How we going, Adam? I got all that done for you. So that's been seeded with um, soybeans now. Um, is there anything else you want me to do? The little tractor. Yep. Okay. All right, I'll get on it. I'll be back shortly. Thank you. So Adam's just gone out and purchased a uh, weeder and he'd like me to take this little tractor and go pick it up for him. So we'll go grab that for him. And then he said, we're done for the day. And then we might actually go see Sam to see if he's, um, figure out our paycheck. Gotta love the orange leaves. They just look so nice, but hopefully with today's pay, I might be able to work something out with um, Adam to get that mower and tractor so I can get this mowed at least because it's looking a little bit ratty. But yeah, we'll go pick this up and then drop it off back to Adam's. Just decided to leave it on here for now. Um, more than happy to move it away for Adam if he needs me to. But uh, we'll go talk to him about that pay and then we'll go take uh, have a chat with Sam. All right, well, we got some good news. Adam's um, giving us this tractor and mower. He gave me the keys. He said she might be a bit rough, but, um, yeah. Looks like this is all mine now. She started first try. What a beaut. I need some new blades. So we actually might, we might take this up to go see Sam and see if he can uh, give it a once over as well for us. Um, Adam said that he is also going to give me $1,000 for today. Um, the only reason it's only going to be $1,000 is because he's given me this too. So yeah, let's, let's go, let's go speak with Sam. And yeah, we'll go from there. We might have to go see Sam drop this off and then walk back to go pick our car up, but that's okay. But no, I'm very grateful that, um, Adam's happy to let this one go. And so it's only taken me, what, two hours of work to get this for him? He did say he's going to cut a couple hundred bucks off um, my next few jobs, though, just to, you know, pay for this. Um, and he did put a bit of fuel in it for me, too. So it's um, it was apparently it was on just below empty. So that was extremely nice of him. Oh, OK. I suppose it's understandable. It's not like I can put an indicator on this thing. But that's fine. But yeah, we'll go speak to Sam and then um, we'll drop this off. All right, looks like Adam has paid us. So that's good. We should be right as rain now. But yeah, we'll go speak to Sam and see what the go is. All right, Sam's um, had a quick look at it. He wants to change the blades out. So he just told me to go park it up here. Um, but he also asked if I wanted another quick job. He um, needs this tractor to be dropped back off, so apparently he spent most of last night fixing it. Um, now that's all done, he um, wants to drop it off. So we'll go take that up for him. Oh, it looks like he power washed it as well. Um, so yeah, we'll drop that off for him, we'll make a bit more money. And yeah, Sam's going to change out the blades on our mower for us and go a quick once over the engine on the on the tractor yeah make sure this is all strapped down nicely oh, I did a terrible job there but should be right I'm so glad I got my truck license and everything before I moved out here would have um, hindered me a lot if I didn't sorry sorry wide loads it Going. Yeah, well, I'm uh, here to drop your tractor back off. Um, it's all been fixed up. Um, Sam's handed me the invoice to give to you. 
Uh, it's got the base main account number and everything there for you to do a transfer, or we can take cash if you like. It's up to you. All right, you want to pay cash? No worries. So that'll be uh, ten thousand dollars, please. Perfect. Thank you very much. But the cash to give to Sam now. So we'll make sure to hand that to him when we get back to his property. So they just uh, wanted me to park it back where we left it, so I'll reverse it in like they had it. Yeah, they were quite annoyed um, that this thing broke down so quickly. But um, they said that once they pay this, they'll get the money back from the warranty, because it should still be in warranty, they said. Go okay, drop this back off to Sam, give him his money, and then hopefully we can get paid. Oh yeah, they're back to being sharp again. Nice. Right, we'll go have a chat with Sam and see how he's gone on it. All right, Sam's just sent us two and a half grand. He said it would have been um, three for the pickup and drop off, but because he fixed the tractor, he took 500 bucks off it. He um, gave it a quick once over. He said everything's looking good. He did change the blades out for me. Um, so yeah, we should be good to start mowing again. So we'll go drop this off out at the farm. And then have to walk back down to Adam's house to go pick up our, um, our truck. So what we might do, we might actually just store this in the garage at the front here. Instead of uh, taking it all the way to the back. Because um, I think I want to get this front area done so I can start looking into getting these maple trees. I was um, speaking to Sam for a little bit and he was telling me that he knows a guy that's selling like maple setups. And I just thought it might be a good way to make some money. So let's get this one backed up in there. Pick up our ute from Adam. All right, we'll go walk and um, go pick up a ute from Adam. Maybe do a bit of a jog. Losing a little bit of weight won't hurt. Here we go, Adam. I'm just here to pick up my ute. I just want to say thank you again for the tractor. I do appreciate it. It's going to come in very helpful. Um, but yeah, I will see you later on. Just give me a call when you're ready for me to come out and do some more work. No worries, mate. Have a good one. All right, it was um, very nice of him to give us that that um, tractor and the mower. But I was sitting here and I just realized we have $12,345. So not only is that one, two, three, four, five, but we might be able to actually look at getting some stuff. Now I need to get a tether and a windrow so I can start making these um, this hay for the sheep. But I don't know whether I do that yet or do I just focus on getting those maple trees. I might just focus on maple trees for now. But yeah, alright, looks like we're done for the day. So we might just kick back and rest up until we hear from someone else. Tomorrow we might start on mowing these lawns up. Maybe if we can get some even grass will be good enough for the sheep. We'll have a think about tomorrow, but for now I'm pretty exhausted after today. Didn't get a good night's sleep last night, so we'll uh, rest up, maybe watch some TV. Definitely going to cook something to eat because I'm kind of hungry. Yeah. Thank you everyone for watching, and I will catch you all in the next episode. Bye. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you got to work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan, your